Hey folks, about eight months ago I purchased a Garmin Phoenix 6 titanium sapphire with a vented band. I uploaded a video back then of an unboxing and it's been more than one of my more successful videos. I don't have a whole lot, uh, but it's gotten quite a few views for me anyway. And also a lot of requests in regards to the durability of the titanium on the watch and the band. So I wear this watch every single day. Uh, I don't wear the titanium band every day necessarily, but I do wear the watch every day. So I can probably testify as to whether or not it's durable. I do also have some other bands in regards to uh, aftermarket ones. And Cool is, is a, another brand band that I happen to pick up off of um, Amazon. And I did purchase some bands back when I had my Phoenix 5. So I'll, I'll go over some tips in regards to bands if you're going to buy them. And I'll also touch uh, on the durability and we'll, we'll look at some close-up shots of wear and tear on my watch and see if, if it's uh, maybe suitable for your uh, taste. Also, there's a, a one or two things that I like or dislike about the watch and I'll go over that. There's a lot of features on the watch and there's all kinds of internet uh, videos on that. So I'm not gonna go over that a whole lot, but I will touch on the specifics of the titanium watch and uh, see what you think. All right, let's start with the actual watch and have a look at it. It does show some scratches around the bezel. Nothing too serious. What I like about the titanium is there's no discoloration. This scratch that you see right here, I remember when that happened. I was walking into Costco and uh, swinging my arm on my by my left side. And anyway, the door door closed a little faster than I was expecting, and I struck the edge of the frame with my arm and watch. And you can see there's there's a mark on the actual band as well, right here. It was actually a, a pretty hard hit, but there's no damage whatsoever on the glass of the watch. So looking at some, one of the commenters asked about this, if it was titanium or mentioned about it not being titanium. I'm not really sure what material that is, but I know it doesn't mark or discolor whatsoever. It's held up really well. The back is titanium. It actually says titanium right there. This is regular wear. And I assume these marks here Let's see. If I, there you go. Those vertical marks are probably from the titanium band. When the band is on and you lay the watch down, it probably scratches the watch here and there. Otherwise, it's probably just from laying the watch down. I'll put the band on. Actually, we'll have a look at the band first up close and see what kind of wear and tear that's had. Again, I don't wear the band every day. This is probably about two months of wear off and on, say about 20 to 25% with the titanium band on. I already don't mind the wear. I think it just gives it character, but to each his own. I'll open up the back so you can see. What it looks like up close. Another quick look at the, the wear and tear on that. This is the band that I wear most of the time. This is a Garmin band. All, FYI, all the bands on this side are Garmin bands. 
These two here are and cool bands that uh, I got from Amazon. I'll get into those in a second. We'll just touch on these bands for now. These are the newer Garmin bands that are available. They have a different pattern on them as opposed to this one. This, this is the band that came with the with the Phoenix 5. That's actually very smooth and comfortable band. I like this one even more. It's very smooth and durable. Nothing sticks to it. It doesn't discolor in any way. This is used to be my favorite band, but and they don't offer this Coyote Brown, I don't think, in another style. Maybe they do, but this is what the first Coyote color that they offered. And it's actually, I was expecting to get a band kind of like this one, but it came and it was a little bit different. It's not quite as heavy a band as the yellow one, and it fits a little bit differently. And I did have the leather one as well. A little bit dressier style, but I'm not a big fan of how it fits, to be honest. The leather is very stiff, and the holes are spaced out much more than the holes on these bands. So the adjustment is a little harder to get. And it doesn't really match the titanium watch anymore, nor do these, because this one's got the silver clasp on it. So to get into the aftermarket bands, this is an Ann Cool. It came packaged like this. This is black. This one's blue, and you can get them on Amazon. I'll show you the link of the page right now. And the difference is, let's go over the differences. Actually, I'll use the newer one to compare. They're kind of shaped the same, the band texture. But this one is metal right here. That's a metal clasp. This one is plastic. You can certainly tell the difference. I'm not sure about the screws. I haven't taken it out, but I can tell you for sure that the clasp is plastic. Now, mind you, it does hold pretty secure. No issues. Haven't had any issues yet. Uh, this one, but you can tell the clasp is a little heavier duty. As for the feel of the Ancool band, it's uh, a little stickier and lint and your skin and stuff like that kind of sticks to it a little more than it does with the original Garmin bands. Now, the Garmin bands are about 60 to $70 each, I believe. This one, I think, was around 10 So there's a huge difference in price. So you would just want to change your band out for the look then I highly recommend the Ancool. But if you want to wear the watch, say if you're going water skiing or mountain climbing or something like that, I would not trust the Ancool. I don't know about this clasp right here. If you're going to buy aftermarket bands for your watch, I would recommend that you get this clasp here with screws. I had several watch bands when I had my Phoenix 5, and they simply had a spring clip inside of here, kind of like the spring clip that's on the watch. Now, mind you, this one's really heavy duty. There's no way you're going to pull that out. But the spring clips that come on these watch bands, aftermarket ones, you see, you won't see the screw here. You'll, it'll just be flat. The spring clips that hold that on, I've had them fail on two occasions. So my, I'm just wearing the watch, and all of a sudden the watch is loose inside of my inside of my shirt and I found that the pin popped out. So I would not trust the band that it doesn't have a screw in there. So that's something you need to look for if you're getting an aftermarket band. So let's pop on just for the looks. We'll have a look at that aftermarket. That's an and cool band. And 
we'll put on the the Garmin band. For now, that's my most comfortable band to wear. So one of the other things that annoyed me about the watch or the Garmin watch is there's no way to delete your notifications all at once. So if I have, for instance, 20 notifications, then I need to go into each one and clear it like that which is kind of a pain. So the only way you can actually do that is with your phone. And I'll show you what that looks like now. Okay, here you see I've got 16 notifications. So as I was saying, in order to delete those, I have to go into them one at a time on the watch. Now if you take your phone, swipe down to see your notifications, and clear. Now if you look at your watch, the notifications are all gone. That is the only way that you can clear all of your notifications at once. There you have it folks, that's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any more questions about the Garmin Phoenix 6 Titanium Sapphire, please pop them in the comments below. And as they say on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.